Hello kids, this is teacher Irene. I am so happy to have you back in our class. This will be our first lesson for quarter two. Today is another fun and exciting time to learn new concepts and develop your English skill. You have learned about the simple tenses of the verb and now you will be encountering the other aspect of verbs. We're going to learn how perfect tenses differ from the other aspects of verbs and how they are used. So, let's get started. Quarter 2, Week 1, Learning Activity Sheet number 1 is all about composing clear and coherent sentences using aspects of verb. Specifically, after working on this learning activity sheet, you should be able to first differentiate the perfect tenses of verbs and the last one compose clear and coherent sentences using the correct form of the verb let us have first a review about verbs so what are verbs verbs are action words and they form part of the predicate of the sentence let's say for example we have this sentence they took their final exam last month so the subject is they and predicate took their final exam last month the verb is took so let us answer this initial activity identify the verb used in each sentence Write your answer on the space provided before each number. So for number one, we have water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. So what is the verb in the sentence? We have freezes. Very good. How about number two? I draw pictures. What is the verb? Draw. Correct. How about number three? She forgets her purse. What is the verb? Forgets. Very good. How about number four? A river flows through the valley. The verb is... Flows. Correct. How about number five? We live in Texas. We have the verb... live very good let us now proceed to our new lesson we have this perfect tenses so this tense of the verb is used to indicate a completed or perfected action or condition there are three perfect tenses we have the present perfect tense the past perfect tense and the future perfect tense Present perfect tense tells an action that started in the past and continues to the present. Meaning, nagsimula noon, nangyayari pa rin hanggang ngayon, or posibli pang mangyari. The verb in the present perfect tense is formed by has as helping verb plus the past participle of the verb or have as helping verb plus the past participle of the verb. For example, she has had a car since she was in college. So we're going to use has as helping verb if the subject is singular and if the subject is he, she, or it, or in the third person. So we have the helping verb has because the subject 
of the sentence is she and had as the past participle of the verb have. The time expression used is since she was in college. So meaning, meron na siyang kotse nung college pa lang siya and hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin siyang kotse. Okay? So that is the present perfect tense. Nagsimula noon, nangyayari pa rin hanggang ngayon. How about have plus past participle of the verb? We have this example. I have had a car since I was in college. So the subject is I. So if the subject is plural or if the subject is in the first person, we, you, and I, we use have. That's why we use here the helping verb have. I have. And the past participle of the verb have, which is had. So, have had. That is an example of a present perfect tense using have as helping verb plus the past participle of the verb. How about the past perfect tense? Past perfect tense expresses action that started and ended before another past action. Meaning, nangyari at natapos na bago may mangyaring iba. The verb is formed with the helping verb had plus the past participle of the verb. For example, we have this one. The sun had set when we finished our work. So the first past action is the sun had set. And the second past action is when we finished our work. So this is an example of a past perfect tense. We use the helping verb had plus the past participle of the verb set, which is set. Another example we have, the club members had chosen their officers before the meeting broke up. So the first past action is the club members had chosen their officers and the second past action is before the meeting broke up. So we use the helping verb had and the past participle of the verb choose, which is chosen. How about the last, the future perfect tense? Future perfect tense expresses future action that will be completed before another future action. The verb is formed with the helping verb shall have or will have plus the past participle of the verb. For example, we have this one. Please hurry. The boat shall have left by the time we reach the pier. So the first future action is the boat shall have left. And the second future action is by the time we reach the pier. Another example, aren't all the participants here yet? The program shall have begun before they arrive. So the first future action is the program shall have begun and the second future action is before they arrive. So these are examples of the future perfect tense. So let us practice. Turn your learning activity sheet to page 4. Copy the verbs used in each sentence. Classify them according to the tense of the verb by checking the column in the table where they belong. So for number one, we have Liza and Lulu stay home all the time. So we have this table, the verb, we have the simple tense, we have the present, the past, and the future. We are done with this 
simple tenses, the simple present, simple past, and the simple future. Our lesson in quarter one. And we have this perfect tense, the present, the past, and the future. So you're going to identify the verb use in each sentence. So for number one, Liza and Lulu stay home all the time. What is the subject first? Liza and Lulu. And the verb use is stay. So stay is what? Simple present tense. Correct. How about number two? Liza and Lulu have stayed in their house since March. So we have the subject again, Liza and Lulu. And the verb have stayed. So have stayed, that is an example of a present perfect tense. Correct. So present perfect tense is formed by have plus past participle of the verb. So we use the helping verb have because the subject is plural. Liza and Lulu. So have stayed. Stayed as the past participle of the verb stay. Correct. So you're going to copy the verb have stayed. How about number three? They took their final exam last month. About number four, they had taken their final exam before their place was put on lockdown. Number five, they will keep themselves busy tomorrow. Number six, they shall have kept themselves healthy before classes open again. So, that's all for Let Us Practice. Let us always remember that verbs can appear in any of the three perfect tenses. We have the present perfect, the past perfect, and the future perfect. Present perfect tense indicates action that started in the past and continues to present, or the action that has just been finished at the time of speaking and action that happened recently at an indefinite time. How about the past perfect tense? It indicates action that started and ended before another past action. And the future perfect tense indicates future action that will be completed before another future action. Turn your learning activity sheet to page 5. Let us practice more. Read and analyze the following sentences. Identify the tense of each underlined verb. Write PR for present perfect tense, PA for past perfect tense, and FU for future perfect tense. Write your answer on the space provided before each number. So we have number one, we have written each other about it for a year. So we have the underlined verb have written. So what kind of tense is that? Present perfect tense. Correct. How about number two? She has collected stamps on heroes since her childhood. Is it present perfect tense? past perfect tense or future perfect tense how about number three the children shall have fallen asleep by the time their parents come about number four we shall have gone home before the rain falls is it present perfect future perfect or past perfect you're going to write PR for present perfect, PA for past perfect, and FU for future perfect tense. About the last one, we shall have submitted the requirements before we leave for the tour. The underlined verb is shall have 
submit it. Okay. So for your last activity, turn your learning activity sheet to page 5. Create sentences about the pictures. Use the past perfect tense of the verb. The first picture will serve as the first past action, while the second picture will be the second past action. The first one is done for you. So we have here number one. She had prepared her assignments before she went out with her friend. How about number two? You're going to create a sentence using the past perfect tense. How about number three? Number four? How about number five? The last one. Okay. Please check your answers using this answer key. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video lesson. Credits to Mom Renee G. Higo and Mom Romadel Gonzalo for the learning activity sheet. And also, credits to my video editor. Atitintin. This is Teacher Irene saying thank you everyone. God bless.